Hello, welcome to my channel Commas and Ampersands, my name is Sarah and in this video I'm going to be telling you about the Walk to Mordor challenge. I'm a very goal-oriented person, I always work better when I have something to work towards. And in 2012 I decided that I wanted to improve my general fitness, but just walking out of the house and going for a long walk didn't really appeal to me. Like, sure the end goal was fitness, but I didn't have like a fun incentive for me along the way. And then I found the Walk to Mordor challenge. There are a few variations of the Walk to Mordor out there and I'm pretty sure someone has even created an app at one stage. But the best progress tracker that I have found for myself was through a website called the Eowyn Challenge. And that is because Karen Wynne Fonstad, who wrote the Atlas of Middle Earth, goes into incredible detail for each day of the journey and for each leg of the journey as well. Like down to mile markers or half a mile markers, like they saw a tree, this happened everything is in there. But because the entire journey is logged in miles, and that means absolutely nothing to me because I'm from Australia, we don't use miles, I decided to create my own spreadsheet for it and convert the miles into kilometres and then have both of them side by side so I could see where I was at any part of the journey. For reference, if you walk from Bag End to Rivendell, Rivendell to Lothlorien, Lothlorien to Roros Falls and Roros Falls to Mount Doom, you end up walking about 1,779 miles or 2,863 kilometres. As you may have guessed, it is not a small undertaking. Over the years, I have done the walk a few different ways. The first time, I kind of just started, had no idea how long it was going to take me. I think I was only counting the steps that I took or the kilometres that I travelled when I was going for a walk, and that took me about a year at a leisurely pace. Last year, I challenged myself to do the entire walk in the space of time that it took for Frodo and Sam to get from Bag End all the way to Mount Doom, which is 185 days to get nearly 3,000 kilometres. And because that meant a massive increase in the amount of exercise that I had to do every single day, I also included the distance that I racked up on my exercise bike at home on the days where it was raining or I just wasn't able to go for a walk during the day or anything like that. But while last year I did it in the same amount of time that it took Frodo and Sam to get from Bag End to Mount Doom, I didn't do it at the same time. And this year I'm going to be trying to do that, which means that I'm going to be starting on the 23rd of September and finishing by the 25th of March. And that means that on average I'm going to have to travel about 15 and a half kilometres every single day. So, I mean, I did that last time. It's doable. It's just a little bit more difficult because I work in an office environment. Most of my walking is incidental, so I don't have a very physically demanding job. But... I'm going to be using my exercise bike to make up the kilometres again uh, and if you're one of those people who is going to sit there and go it's the walk to Mordor not the ride to Mordor you know what the hobbits basically did nothing for the entire leg down the river and let all the bigger people do the kayaking for them so I don't actually care uh, and I'm going to do it anyway. And the other thing that's going to make it more difficult this time is that I'm going to be starting at the end of September rather than at the beginning of July, which is what I did last year. So if you live in Australia, you already know that that means that I will be completing the majority of this walk throughout the spring and summer months rather than during winter when it's colder and it's more pleasant to walk. I'm really not good at summer, but I'm going to try and make it through this challenge at least once. If I absolutely hate it, the next time I try the walk, I'm just going to do it in winter. I don't bloody care. But I like a challenge, so that's what I'm here for. Every time I talk about the walk to Mordor, there's at least one person who's like, I want to do that, that sounds like so much fun. Be prepared. But also that's why I'm telling you about this like a month before I start it. So if you want to join me on the walk to Mordor, whether you want to do it at your own pace or whether you want to try and challenge yourself and do 15 and a half kilometres a day like I'm going to be doing, up to you. But... I do have to do some work on the spreadsheets first because they're just in Excel and I'll make them available in a Google Sheet so that you can easily download them and track your progress and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested, this is where the information is. I will put it in the description box when it's available. I will post on Instagram as a reminder leading up to the event and all that sort of stuff. That's basically it. It's self-motivated. It's very casual. You can do it at whatever pace you want. You can try it at a slower pace this time and work up to a better pace like I did or you can just have a crack at it and decide it's not for you it's totally up to you but if you're someone like me who really thrives on having a goal then I have found it very helpful multiple times in the past 
it's just a fun way to incorporate a fandom into your fitness regimen and make it something a little bit exciting if you really struggle with that. That's all the information that you need. If you have any questions, if I haven't answered something that seems glaringly obvious, leave a comment down below. If you're going to participate, let me know as well. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how you go with it. And apart from that, I guess just wish me luck. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!